But, but, sir, my point is about the focus of our current administration. And if you use resources, but most importantly, if you put people on the task of dealing, let's say, with the massive influx of illegal immigration, then they're going to be distracted from doing their core job of keeping Americans safe in response to a disaster. Each of us, th this is true of me, it's true of everybody in the world, we only got so much time to focus, and there's only so much time in the day. And if you take FEMA and you turn it into an agency that resettles illegal immigrants, that's going to take their focus away from keeping people safe after a hurricane. That's basic human reality. And I, I think there's no way around it. Now, now what the fact checkers say, and we'll, we'll, we'll sort of, you know, we'll, we'll try to be as fair to the other side as possible, my friends. What the fact checkers will say is, well, there's a bucket of money that goes to illegal immigrants, and there's, that's a different bucket of money that goes to disaster relief. Well, I'm sure the Biden administration has never moved money from one bucket to the other. In three and a half years, in three and a half years, we know that Kamala Harris and Joe Biden are more than willing to move money from one bucket to another if it suits their purpose. They ought to be moving money to the bucket that supports American citizens in the wake of these terrible storms. That's what I would like them to do. But the, the, the final point I want to make about this is just bureaucratic focus. Look, I've seen a lot of wild stuff out there on the Internet. The problem with what I've seen from the Biden administration is that they're not focused on getting resources to people that need it. When Kamala Harris is out at a fundraiser in San Francisco, meanwhile North Carolina is drowning, North Carolinians have every right to say, where the hell is our vice president and why isn't she focused on us? That focus has got to change. Why should African-American Michiganders vote for the Trump fans ticket? Well, you know, we, we've, we've, we, we've, got, we've got a great number of black Americans in this crowd right now. They could probably answer that question better than I could. But, 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 but without calling everybody up here, because I'm a politician, I don't like to share the microphone with anybody as much as I like them. What, what I think they would agree with is, number one, Donald Trump wants to bring back public safety and an economy that brings prosperity for everybody. Good wages for good jobs. That's the Trump promise. And I think that's a great promise uh, to black families in Michigan and to everybody else. Here, here's something else. I mean, th there is this idea in the media and I don't know where it came from, that somehow black Americans don't believe in public safety in this country. Well, we know whether you're Democrat, Republican, or independent, black Americans do care about public safety in this country. They want to empower our law enforcement officers to do their job. Of course, do it respectfully and make sure we've got good relationships between police and community, but we can have a good relationship between police and the communities they serve while we lock up the violent criminals and keep everybody safe in the process. I think that's very possible. And look, I mean, the, the story of black Americans, especially in the city of Detroit, is actually very similar to the story of Appalachian white Americans who came from West Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee. We moved to places like Detroit, black and white together, because there were good jobs for people who were willing to work hard and play by the rules. And it wasn't always perfect, but for a generation in this country, people, black and white, worked together, raised their families, built things in this country, and created prosperity for the entire country. And if you... That, that was the story, by the way, in the steel mill that my grandfather worked in for almost 40 years. You had black folks and white folks living together, working together, and they, 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 again, it wasn't always perfect, but it worked. You know why it worked? Because we had good jobs for people who were willing to work hard and play by the rules. The destruction of the manufacturing economy in the state of Michigan has been disastrous for black Americans, and it's been disastrous for a lot of middle-class white Americans, too. We can make things in this country again. We can build things in the United States of America again. And when we do, it's going to bring prosperity to black and white alike. Don't miss a video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today for more Central Illinois news.